Hello, fourth graders. Here is your second lesson of week four in spelling, talking about polysyllabic words again. Again, that is a word that has more than one syllable in it. Let me share the rest of this um, PowerPoint that I made for you. Here is another set of polysyllabic words we're going to look at. So we have finished. The word is finished, right? We need to think about the base word is finish without the ed ending. It has two closed syllables, f-i-n, fin, ish. F-i-n in the first one, i-s-h. Those finish is super easy to spell. Fin is easy, ish is easy because we have that constant digraph, the two um, constants that together make one sound, finish, I-S-H. Then we're going to add the ED. Now we know we're not going to double anything because we've got a two syllable word and we have two constants at the end. So we don't have to think about that. We're just going to add the ED. So then we have a tidy. So we have tie, long I sound at the end of the syllable. That makes it an open syllable. Remember long vowel sound at the end, tie, D. Now the D is D-Y. Remember that a long E sound at the end of the word with more than one syllable is spelled with the letter Y, almost always. So that's a good rule to remember. Tidy, tidy, T-I, and then D-Y. All right, expanding means getting larger. The base word is expand, so expand. We're gonna say it into our syllables. We're gonna spell the first syllable E-X, and then we'll spell the second syllable P-A-N-D. Don't double a consonant before you add the ending ing because, of course, we have a two syllable word. We have two, syllable, two consonants at the end of the word. And I just realized that I forgot to put the dots in there. So remember, you can always put ex dot pand, P A N D dot ing, right? Three syllables there, three closed syllables. Gravy, this is gravy on some mashed potatoes. We have gray, we have a long. A sound at the end of the first syllable, that makes it an open syllable, gray, G-R-A, where the vowel makes its own sound by itself. And then V, we've got that long E sound at the end there again, with um, more than one syllable, we're gonna spell it with the letter Y. Okay, this is just for fun, it's not in your spelling test. How do you spell laugh? Laugh and you get happy, L-A-U-G-H. All right, let's go ahead and do, oh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of writing of some words. All right, are you ready with your, um, with your pencil and your paper? And if, let's do, first of all, let's back up a little tiny bit and do a few of our review words. Those are important because remember that part of your spelling test each week is, um, are the review words from previous weeks. So here are some review words to think about. Let's write the word sprayed. Now we're gonna think about the base word, which is spray. I can hear the S-P-R. Spray is our base word. What is our long A spelling at the end of a word? A-Y. And then we're going to go ahead and add the E-D. We don't have to double anything because it doesn't follow any of our rules. Sprayed. And of course, we can't just add the D because we always have to do ED. The next word that uh, is Ms. Ms. Humphrey is going to help us next week. Ms. Capital M and then S with a period at the end. The next word is clay. Clay. I hear that the CL, that um, consonant blend. And then again, I'm going to use the AY for the long A sound at the end of the word. The next one is space. We're going to go to outer space, S P A. And then we're going to use for ACE, we're going to use that C E. So we've got the long A, A consonant E. The s sound, when C is before an E, it's always gonna make the s sound, so space. The next word is plain. I like to eat plain yogurt on my granola. Plain, I hear that consonant blend, P-L. And then I'm going to use a I, in this case, in the middle of the word, unlike airplane, which is spelled this way, A-N-E. So that's a little tricky that, that those homophones are 
you got to just remember. And then of course, plain means like plain yogurt and it also means the buffalo on the plain. So that gets to be spelled that way two different times. Okay, we, uh, the word is won. We won the first game. This is tricky because it's also homophone with the word one, right? This, the word one, O-N-E is for number one and the word W-O-N is like we won the lottery, one, W-O-N. And then the next word is miss. Miss uh, Keaton is helping us today, capital M. She doesn't really go by this, but there we go. I-S-S, -S, miss. And of course, we're going to give it a capital because we're talking about a person. The next one is were. Hopefully, you remember this. Here's the word were, W-E-R-E, -E, similar to where, but of course, where has a constant digraph at the beginning and were does not. So make sure you remember the difference there. The next one, that um, another word that's difficult to spell and frequently misspelled, of course, of. And then we've got or spelled O-U-R. We typically spell O or O-R. And then we have S. Can't leave an S hanging out at the end unless it's a plural word. So we're going to add the E there. And then the last one, review word we're going to do is skipped. So we have skip as our um, base word. Then we're going to think to ourselves, is it a one syllable word? Yes. Does it have one short vowel? It, yes. Followed by one Consonant P, yes. We're going to double the P before we add the ED. So that is a bunch of, oh, sorry, that is um, some, some uh, review spelling for you this week. Okay, let's get back to a little bit of polysyllabic spelling as well. Okay, let's have the next word we're going to spell is. Uh, concentrate. Okay, so this is three syllables. Concentrate. So I got up to my shoulder. It's now I know it's three. So let's focus on the first one and I'll put some dots in there. Con, C O N. I can hear that one really clearly. Sen. Now you might be tempted to put S E N, but in this case we're going to use the C because as con is C O, that's a K sound. Sen is C E, so that's the S sound. Con, sen, and then trait. Trait is going to be the long A of A, consonant E. So I hear the tr sound, and then I'm going to do A, consonant E, right? Trait, concentrate. Prove. I wanted to prove to my parents that I could handle the job. Prove. Um, usually that's double O. Improve, that's a tough one. It's just O V E. Remember that the E is there because the V cannot end the word in English. Let's do public next. Public, two syllables. I've got pub is easy, P U B. I can hear those very clearly. Um, I'm going to put a dot there. Lick. I'm going to have that with um, a polysyllabic word. It's going to be L I C, right? public, the public library was closed. The next word is blood, and blood, hmm, that's a tough one to remember. Blood, it sounds like a U or a schwa sound, but it's spelled B-L-O-O-D. The next word is plastic. Again, we're going to say plas in our first syllable, tick, T-I-C. Remember, we're going to end up with the C, C at the end there for the K sound. And the next one is nails. She has her nails done at the salon. Nail is uh, the long A sound, a I, nail, tail, uh, sail is all spelled A-I-L. And then we're gonna put just the S right on the end there for nails. Okay, let's do just a couple more. Finishes, whoever finishes the race first will win the trophy. So we have finish. Finishes, finishes. Okay, so we're going to start with thin and then ish and then as. We have es there. Finishes, okay? And then until, until. Un is easy for a syllable. Till, ooh, till is the last syllable. The, the trick with this one is that until does not end in a double L. Mostly that's a singular one syllable words. So when we move into polysyllabic words, we're gonna end words with only one L when we hear it at the end there. Expected, he expected to play the first base position. 
expected. So we've got X for a syllable. Ooh, pect, P E C T, expected there is our base word. We're going to put the um, dot there and then add the E D at the end. And then the next one is it's. It's going to rain today, so don't forget your umbrella. You say it's and think about, can I, can I pull that out and say it is going to rain today and does it still make sense? If so, I'm going to use the apostrophe to take the place of the I. If I said um, uh, the dog grabbed its bone, it's, I can't say the dog grabbed it is bone, so then I know it's going to be possessive and I'm not going to use the apostrophe. Okay. Let's see if there's any other words you might like to write. Ooh, might like to write today. Uh, let's do gravy again. Remember gravy from the other day? We have the long A sound in the open syllable and then VY to get that long E sound at the end. And that is it for today. Okay, well done. Do, do um, remember to uh, study for your spelling test and I will see you then.